I'm Mike Schnecker, Business Development Manager at Rode Schwartz, and we're going to show a uh, demonstration of a trigger and decoding feature for 1000 base T1 Ethernet. This is an automotive Ethernet standard. It runs at a gigabit per second um, and is used in, in automotive applications as well as some aerospace applications. Uh, what we're doing here is we're actually looking at an active link. So we've essentially got two media converters, uh, one transmitting on this side, one receiving on that side. And in, the, in between the, uh, the media converters, we actually have a tap off where we can tap the signals going in either direction. Now, 1000 base T1 is a bi-directional transmission, so we're actually transmitting on both directions on the same twisted pair. This fixture allows us to separate the forward and reverse links so that we can measure one at a time. In this case, we're just measuring the forward link. We have the two cables from the fixture going into the oscilloscope channel one and two. And in this instrument, we've set up um, a specific decode uh, for that standard. So we set it up for uh, 1000 base uh, T1 ethernet here. And we've identified channel one and two as the twisted pair wires connected to it. And furthermore, we've uh, told the instrument um, to trigger uh, using that protocol on a um, any MAC frame, so it says trigger on any MAC frame here. So the instrument is capturing the data stream. You see the uh, green and yellow traces in the background. That's the plus and minus uh, connections to the twisted pair. And overlaid on top is the decode. So essentially to get to the decode, we need to do equalization uh, and as well as detection um, of the multi-level signaling. In this case, um, it's three-level signaling. And convert that into a binary word and then overlay the protocol on that. So you can see the MAC frame was detected here. And down here in the lower part, we have a table where we can actually read out the values, the destination and source addresses, uh, as well as the CRC and the data rate that's being measured. One of the applications for this is validating uh, the interface bus, but another application for this would be measuring, for example, latency, where you could trigger, for example, on a MAC frame going into a device, and then trigger on that same MAC frame or, or measuring that next same MAC frame coming out of the device. And on the oscilloscope screen, you can accurately measure uh, the timing difference between those two events. And in fact, um, you could actually capture statistics and generate histograms of the variation of that latency. These are very important, especially for applications, for example, like self-driving cars, um, where you need to be able to uh, do things in a timely manner, for example. For, uh, for more information on this measurement, you can check us out uh, at www.roda-schwartz.com.